President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. The topic of today's session is about uh, the implementation of the CPK's policy at S21. Before we start the proceedings, Avant de commencer, on behalf of the trial chamber, I would like je to inform to the parties chambre, and the public, les that et le public on Thursday, the 11th de ce of que June, le 11 juin, the trial jeudi, chamber will not sit. La chambre ne siègera pas. The trial chamber has observed that there are still several pending issues Et ce parce y a encore plusieurs questions suspens. that we need to spend a whole day to invite the parties to the proceedings, to the discussion, to discuss the scheduling for the future hearings and other remaining issues. Du calendrier des audiences à venir Therefore, et questions. the parties to the proceedings are informed of Les this sont donc ainsi and be prepared to share their comments and views in nous the faire part de vos vues et commentaires meeting as uh, said. À la réunion. The item of the agenda for the meeting is still being prepared and will be made available to the parties in due course before the starting of the meeting. Avant le début de cette réunion. And uh, since this is a technical issue uh, for the court, we only need uh, the parties Seule la présence des parties est requise. To attend such a meeting. However, the civil parties Toutefois, who in the previous day, as we observed the remarks from uh, lawyer Stutzinski and other lawyers Stutzinski concerning the rights of the civil parties to participate in such meetings, and in the meeting they are allowed to attend if they would wish to do so, although it is more about technical uh, matters concerning the proper pr proceedings of uh, the management of the proceedings, and they have their own choice to attend or not to attend. And we would like to also inform that during the trial management meeting, the Try, uh, the, the meeting will be conducted in closed session and the public uh, is not encouraged to take part in the proceedings I said on the 11th of June. Sans, par conséquent, la présence du public. Et je le rappelle, cela se passera le 11 juin. Next, uh, the graphiers, please verify the attendance so of the parties de to the proceedings in today's session. The graphier. Mr. President, the Madame parties Fier, to the proceedings Monsieur today are all present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. The President, uh, the security le guard, please bring the accused to the dock. D'amener l'accusé à la barre.
Before we begin our proceedings, uh, we would like to also inform to the parties that today's session is about the facts concerning the implementation of the CPK's policy at S21. In the previous hearings, uh, the accused were already questioned and uh, witnesses have also been questioned, especially Mr. Craig Atchison, the expert who was questioned uh, concerning the fact. And we also have asked uh, some questions to the accused already. So it is reminded that uh, to make sure that the proceedings are properly conducted, uh, uh, we advise that uh, the questions are not uh, repeated. The reason we raise these issues because uh, we have observed that uh, the experts had uh, some difficult times to actually uh, be available at the court in a proper order. That's why we can see that it is a little bit mixed up between uh, the two uh, witnesses who had already been quest uh, sorry uh, been heard. Dans les questions posées aux Qui ont été During our last hearing, we à de la audience, came to time when the parties uh, put questions to the accused concerning the related uh, fact. Nous so the chamber would like uh, to give the floor to the co-prosecutors co to be able to put questions to the accused concerning the same fact. The floor is le yours, the co-prosecutors, if you would wish to put questions. Messieurs les co-procureurs, je vous en prie. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Le co-procureur cambodgien. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour, Madame, Messieurs les Juges. Today, on behalf of the prosecution, I would like to ask some questions Je voudrais, au nom des relating to the facts of the implementation of the CPK policy. I will put the questions to the accused, can get you as follows. Voici donc quelles sont nos questions. The co-prosecutors understand that in the revolutionary flag special edition, le drapeau révolutionnaire dans un numéro spécial du drapeau révolutionnaire of the made edition with the year 00645511 en date de mai ERN 006451 which is published in 78 on page 16 and 17 page talking about the matters of those who were organized by the enemy, and de the CPK has raised the Et policies as following. Le PCK a cette One, les before the 1968, Un. Avant. two, from the 68 to 70, 68. De 68 à 70 third, from the 70, de 70 to 75. Fourth, from the 75 to the de times of the liberation. And from the time from the 75 to the liberation, the Communist Party has put it into separate parts. Exposé sa politique en plusieurs parties. In the first part, it talks about those who were partie, who defected. De ceux and I will not read uh, this part. Et je ne vais pas vous de the second part dans une deuxième partie. is uh, 
about to to make the enemy to calm down and they so Les that the enemy to put defect to us de sorte que l'ennemi fasse défection pour le Kampuchea. The point that the co-prosecutors want is whether the issues of the party lines as mentioned in those points de la how effective were they points. within the framework of the CPK's policy à quel point ça a été efficace dans le cadre de la politique du parti and separately within the CPK policy which were implemented at S21 when the prisoners who were or who involved with the revolution before the 75 qui était qui avait rallié les rangs révolutionnaires avant 1975 the co would also provide you a copy of those Nous documents so you can examine them. The craftier, would you please uh, give this document to the accused so that he can read it? Donner ce document à l'accusé pour qu'il puisse le lire. The president, court officer, le you can take the document from the co-prosecutors and hand it to the accused. Ce Can you respond to the, the questions raised by us, the co-prosecutor? The accused, Mr. President. The question is long. Monsieur le Président, c'est une question qui a une réponse longue. The main content of the question, so I will try to answer the Et question as following. If uh, it is not complete, the co-procureur, please si ask me again. Complète, les pourront demander des compléments. I have seen this document on two occasions. Vu ce document. One was the secular to reach the S21 when I saw the the magazine. I'm not sure whether. The circular was sent to S21 before after the publication of this magazine. The content was the same. Avant la distribution de du drapeau révolutionnaire, mais la teneur en était la même. The content of the policy in the circular. Et cette politique exposée dans la circulaire. And also the content of the policies in this special revolutionary flag. Ainsi que la teneur de la politique exposée dans le so that was my immediate impression when I saw the content of that circular and I was happy because I thought that the displaced people who were cl classified as the sapped people who hate no rise and or whatever or how hard they tried to join the youth league or the party and they were even not allowed to join the soldiers. Euh, qui n'ont même pas été autorisés à devenir soldats. Je parle ici des gens du 17 avril, people des gens du rise. peuple nouveau. Ce so sont des gens qui n'avaient aucun droit. Et donc, quand j'ai vu ce document, j'en étais satisfait. De fait, ces S21, gens qui ont été envoyés à S21 étaient considérés par le parti comme des ennemis d'emblée. Et en tant qu'ennemis, ils devaient tous être éliminés. Voilà ce qui s'est passé. In the entire life of the operation of S21, Tout au long since when I worked as the deputy chief, from 
October 75 until the 7th April 1979, the party ordered me to release only three people. I was ordered by the party. They were the full row members. Il s'agissait de membres des full row. Et comme je vous l'ai déjà dit, before, full row is an abbréviation from the French language. Ni des luttes des races opprimées. The United Front for the struggle of oppressed races. So I was ordered to release only these three donc, people and the rest had to be smashed. That was the CPK policy enforced on S21. So this document was not essential for S21 especially. Par conséquent, ce document n'était pas particulièrement ne concernait pas particulièrement S21. In the 1978 political session. Dans les sessions Which politiques de 78, I did not study with my former superior Sun Sen, and in that special political study in 1978, I studied with other officers, and the session was instructed by Pol Pot himself. Donc At that time, he talked a lot. Pol Pot, qui he était, spoke. Qui a he parlé. said that S21 did Il not have to. Ask any question. S21 n'avait pas de questions à poser. Those who were sent to you, you had to keep them. Ceux qui vous sont envoyés, so vous I was happy. Les garder. I thought, oh, it's it's good for us. Je me suis très bien. C'est bon pour nous, pour S21. And I would not say it's it's a danger or it was a crime in killing the people at the time. I was happy after I heard that, but three days later, Uncle Nguyen asked me to work with him, and he asked whether I, I asked questions. I said, no, I did not, because I only followed the party lines which I learned during the political session. And he said, oh, so now you knew well about the political session. I was speechless, and when I returned, I thought that this game is just an open game, which I already reported to Chancellor Wentz previously. It's just a facade. It is this facade, which is the Political session, uh, political study session in 78, in order to collect those forced who did not have firm belief in the party in order to convince them. So they had no influence in the implementation at S21. Co-prosecutor, thank you, the accused, can get you. Merci. The co-producer can accept uh, what you have said to the court. Oui. So there is no need for you to provide any further Je details. My dites, next question to you, in the same revolutionary, suivante, revolutionary flag, as I just said, which on page 19, on trouve ceci à la page 19. It talks about the morality. There are two parts about the morality. One is the remnant of the old society, and the second thing is that that is the enemy's plan. And the question that I would like to put to you is as follows. Whether the actual implementation of the CPK policy at S21 for those prisoners à l'égard des prisonniers was the CPK policy reflected as mentioned in these two points regarding the morality issue se faisait en conformité avec ces deux points qui se trouvent à la page 19 concernant la moralité The accused, uh, Mr. President, réponse. I would like to respond to the co-prosecutor's question as follows. The Merci issue of morality, dire. it is 
the subject concernant la question de la moralité, which was in combination with other matters, un sujet qui était abordé intended avec to arrest sujets, people. This is through the observation, analyzing and conclusion by myself. For example, in the case of Koitun, there had been various issues Plusieurs questions ont été soulevées. And there were many of those issues. And in the end, he was alleged to en fin de compte, have an immoral offense with another person's wife and killed the husband. And it was very well known. Il a été accusé d'avoir tué le mari de cette femme. So the CPK removed Koitun according to the statute that any cadre who commits an offense will be removed. The party is a right member of the right. And Koitun was a member of the central committee. He was a full rights member and he was also a minister. And if he was removed according to the statute, then he became then his full rights member was also removed and his role in the government as the Minister of Commerce was also removed. Therefore, just the issue of morality and the killing, why the full rights member was taken and smashed? Let me talk about the decision on the 30th of March 76, the 30th of March 76 decision, it designates that those people who had the authority to smash according to the party's line are within only four groups. And Koitun, when he was the secretary of the North Zone, he had the authority to evacuate people, to select people, and to smash people. And when he became the Minister of Commerce, he, he no longer had the role as the Secretary of the North Zone, so he had no right to smash people. Nord, and and if he smashed people without asking for the permission si from the Central Committee, it's a mistake. Centre, and he was removed on the, 20, on the 8th of April 76. Et, et That's when he was removed. Été écarté le 8 avril 1976. And he was under house detention. Et placé, euh, observation that I have made. So for those people who were sentenced to S21, whether the categorization of the offenses according to the morality or the plan of the enemy, there was no such category as long as there are confessions, then that's it. So I did not think about the implementation of the types of moral morality issues. À de la and en I did en not arrest anyone to, if uh, for the morality offense. This is uh, from my recollection. I cas, never asked the parties for permission to arrest anyone who commits any immoral offense. This is my response. Co-procureur. Thank you. My next question is, Merci, voici ma question for suivante. the dissemination of the revolutionary flag at S21, diffusion de, du drapeau révolutionnaire à S21, was the magazine sent by the Central Committee or you went to collect those magazines by yourself or were other cadres going to text those magazines cadres qui and how often is it? La revue et avec quelle fréquence? And who was responsible for the dissemination Je of the magazines at your S21 office? De la revue And in the A study session, who read the revolution magazine to the qui uh, cadres who were participating in the study session? Mr. President, Réponse. I would like to respond to the question as follows. 
first about the revolutionary flag magazine. Le As I have read uh, repeatedly, this Comme is the internal magazine. It, it's only for the members to study. And the benefit from studying the magazine is its practicality in relation to their respective work. I was encouraged, and in turn, I encourage my subordinates to study the magazines personally. This is one important point. And from my recollection, and through the notebook of Brother Monnaie, de frère Momnay, which the co-investigators uh, gave it to me. Que les co-juges d'instruction m'ont donné. There were more than 300 pages of uh, in that notebook, and there were some mentionings of the study of the magazine. Trouve mention At de S21, when I held the microphone, uh, S21, I only talked about the situation, la about la micro, the the, the interrogations pour ce qui of the enemies, but about the revolutionary magazine, I did not think I paid uh, real attention on this. But I myself, I studied hard, especially the uh, CPK statute. I, I read comme les a number CK. of the revolutionary, revolutionary flag magazines. De, de, and let me now return to the co prosecutors question. Those who sent the magazines, question, they sent the magazines on time from the general staff. And at that time, we were still subordinates to the general staff. My messenger did not go and receive them, but it was officially sent from the general office. And once we received, I ordered them to be distributed to the cadres at the S21. Thank you, Mr. Kankek Eo. The next Le question Merci. relates to the question CPK's suivante, policy sur la politique du PCK. in the special issue of the magazine that the co-prosecutors would like to know at last. Et, uh, there has been used on page 20 and 21 page 20 and 21 could uh, the president please uh, allow me to circulate this document to the accused so that he can be informed of uh, the questions we are intend to ask. The president, the court officer, is instructed to circulate this information or document to the accused. On pages uh, 20 and 21, there has been a policy that, as an experiment, if any place has a shortage of uh, food supply, then the administration has to be reorganized or restructured. My question here, when it mentioned about the uh, reconstructing of the authority uh, when there is a food shortage, for example, what was the old authority regarded as and uh, what was the fate of the old authority? Je voudrais donc savoir ce qu'il est advenu des organes anciens qui préexistaient à cette instruction. Accused. Mr. President, I would like to respond to the questions by the prosecutor as following. I think uh, the accusations in the magazine here in this particular section is more about the theory matter to facilitate uh, their criminal acts in, uh, in uh, 
taking measures against des, uh, the former authority qui here uh, les uh, at the S21, we had Mais no S21, grasp of that matter. Nous aucun However, sur ces in questions. general, Toutefois, de manière générale, I would like to give you some recollection as following in 1972, starting from the beginning of 1972, there was a Perch uh, employed purge at, uh, against the former cadres in the north and later turned nord. to the central zone. Both the standing committee and my superior, Mr. Son Sen, believed that after the old cadres who were purged, those who took side at Koi then the people at the base uh, at that location would have enough food to eat. Uh, I would like to just recall my personal experience, uh, my recollection. My mother regularly visited Phnom Penh uh, because the two, uh, sorry, three, three uh, children in Phnom Penh and two in Kampong Thom. So he, she was afraid of my well-being and she asked whether I had enough food to eat. I told her that uh, I reported to my boss. I told my boss that uh, in the north the cadre is down people. And then my boss uh, called me from the other end of the telephone. Uh, he said that uh, it's not, it was not the uh, cadres who uh, style them, but it was the enemy who did, do, did so. That's why our people did not have enough food to eat. Uh, my father was forced by Chum to search for something to uh, the, uh, to tie the 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 rice, the rattan. But it was not possible to find uh, such rattan. And then we, uh, I told him that actually. Uh, Tamok people were en fait, les gens de Tamok. harsh, and uh, but my superior, when I talked about this, he was not. Uh, dur. He was uh, quiet. So in Quand conclusion, I can chef, say that people were arrested, but uh, to find any reason arrêtés, to back up their um, arrest, then they could just find all excuses. So this magazine uh, proves the theory to analyze the situation and uh, seek some kind of uh, scientific uh, reasons to support uh, such arguments. De so this is what I have observed, uh, because when Tamox people went to that location, Quand people would even uh, uh, suffering more from les starvation. La population a encore plus souffert de la faim. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, thank le you le co for your brief uh, explanation concerning Je the question. The next question is more about question uh, the CPK's policy for you who applied it uh, toward those prisoners at S21. Was it the policy of the CPK that uh, the prisoners were to detain uh, for a certain period of time? And how long would they be expected to be detained, especially those former combatants uh, the, the, and the cadres of the CPK and uh, the intellectuals who returned from abroad and the fourth category of the prisoners were normal or ordinary people who were regarded as uh, enemies. Do you understand my question? The accused. Mr. President, I would like to respond to the co-prosecutor's question as follows. The people who were arrested and sent to S21, those were regarded as enemies. They had to be smashed.
This is a policy no one can violate. They did not really care for uh, the sources of any intellectuals uh, or the sources uh, that the people were innocent or not, although those intellectuals uh, did not really have a uh, blood on their hands or to ki uh, or kill people, but they were regarded as cadres at the center who had uh, killed people. So we can compare this to the uh, issue of Coitoun and uh, Dr. Rokrut, uh, my god uh, brother, and also the Professor Penton. So who were better than the other? Who had blood? Uh, on their hands, who uh, killed uh, the people. They did not classify them accordingly. Anyone who was regarded as enemy, enemy was arrested and automatically they had to be interrogated by uh, at S21 and whether tortures were employed or not it based on the uh, certain circumstance and after all they would be taken away to be smashed at Jung Aik. So the word taken out, removed or smashed or killed were used interchangeably. It means killed. So uh, we, cannot, we could not really reject uh, uh, the order and we had to implement uh, such a policy. At S21 there were two kinds of uh, people, the people who were painters or artists and I asked the CPK to spare their life, uh, I mean to be as prisoners who uh, would not be smashed. They would be left to serve uh, as 21. And there was another person, uh, dentist D. Pon. Brother Paul arrested him and sent to S21. And after a few days, he asked uh, Uncle Noon to tell us that uh, this person should not be beaten and spare his life. So altogether there were six people who uh, were not uh, et, killed. Um, soit, so uh, épargné. Et donc, au total, in general six people who were regarded as enemies had to be smashed. We could only manage to spare their life as the status of the prisoners who would et not be smashed uh, but uh, remain as prisoners at S21, so there were six of them that we could uh, apply such a uh, uh, practice. So at uh, M13, there was one person also who uh, was left uh, alive. Uh, he was Hom In. So through my recollection, uh, I think uh, there were Donc, more people like Mr. François Bizot, who I already Monsieur discussed Bizot, his, uh, the matter with uh, the superior mm. and also uh, Brother Utson, who came the other day Utson, to testify and uh, uh, witness KW30, who were left uh, to see KW30 the uh, uh, the torturing uh, devices before they were uh, taken to uh, the Tortu outside but uh, were not uh, smashed. Uh, people who committed uh, wrongdoing like Utson so then were inflicted to actually experience or ex be exposed to see the handcuffs before they were uh, sent to the villages. Yeah. Avant so everyone village, who was regarded as uh, enemy who was sent to S21, in short, must be bref, interrogated and tortured and smashed. S21 had no authority to release anyone, otherwise we would uh, be killed. Nous, on été tués. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, thank you. 
Monsieur le coproquereur, but uh, you seem le to forget and, uh, uh, answering my question concerning the duration, the so how long people were detained, uh, the shortest and the longest at S21. The accused. Thank you for reminding. Actually, I um, failed to uh, cover that question. question en fait, I think uh, there was no concrete. Uh, determination on how much time is needed to detain any particular person. Some um, certain cases, some people were detained longer uh, only uh, uh, to receive the order from the upper echelon that the person would uh, be smashed and smashed. Uh, for example, in the case of Koytun, uh, he was not uh, kept for long. For example, Uh, Tong n'a pas été détenu pendant une longue période. In a document 159 4.10, uh, December 1977 without Alors, any interrogation. So to state clearly how much time uh, was needed to detain any particular person uh, was not uh, uh, well determined. Uh, so it, it, it based on a case-by-case -case basis. d'un système au cas par cas. The co-prosecutor, thank you. But still, you merci. seem to forget uh, to answer to the point. Uh, for example, uh, you may say how how many times, uh, how how many months uh, were the Pendant prisoner detained at uh, the S21 or years? Pendant thank you, say the accused. Uh, you can refer to document 159-4.10. Some people only stay at S21 for like 10 days, but others would stay longer, like in the case of Goitun, actually. He uh, was left there for several months. Some others only stayed there for like 10 days, and then they would be taken out. The co-prosecutor, thank you. In principle, it is acceptable that uh, you can, uh, uh, we, we accept your response. Votre réponse the recette. next question, Acceptable. in paragraph 58 of the agreed fact, you stated Uh, there, there was about the principal role of uh, the S21 toward uh, the enemies, and you agreed that all the prisoners had to be smashed. Absolutely. I would like you to clarify this a little bit, whether the prisoners who were regarded as enemies, I think this question would be repeated, but I would like you to be brief in responding. Uh, what would be uh, the activities uh, that were regarded as uh, the activities of the enemies? Uh, the accused, you said the uh, article 50, uh, sorry, uh, paragraph 58 of the agreed fact, is that correct? Uh, the co-prosecutor, that's correct, uh, the accused, but I do not recall that paragraph. Could you please read that uh, paragraph again to be sure I can understand? The co-prosecutor, in the implementation of the CPK's policy at S21 regarding the policy to smash enemy, the main role of S21 is to implement the party's policy, and according to this line, the prisoners had to be smashed. Uh, paragraph 31 of the closing order, and that you agree. Et vous avez été Could you please clarify point. your question then, Donc, say the accused? Question, please repeat your question. I'm very question. sorry for that. 
Je pourrais m'excuser. Question. Le coprocureur. Question. Uh, my question is that the prisoners who were regarded des as enemies in paragraph 58, uh, what kind of activities were classified as uh, enemies' activities? Eh bien, quelles activités, quel type d'activités permettaient d'identifier ces personnes comme Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, for presenting that uh, document and raise this question again for further clarification, which I thank you very much. The decision on the 30th of March, 1976, in determines clearly the framework of the authority to smash People. So those people were entitled to have the authority to make a decision who would be regarded as enemies. So anyone among the four who made the decision, then the police uh, could not fail to arrest the uh, original unit, uh, could not fail to arrest them accordingly. Anyone who could uh, let the, the, anyone escape, then they would be punished. And people who were sent to S21 had to be interrogated. I don't uh, uh, say that everyone had to be interrogated, but in principle, they had to be interrogated. Uh, and then that we had to smash them for, uh, for them, and we did not uh, dare to uh, release anyone, otherwise we would face the consequence. So in conclusion, the reason why people were decided to arrest people, the authority were wasted with those four groups of people. No other people had any other authority. I'm, I'm talking about the four groups of people, not the four people. S21 did not have the authority to make any decision, even the Secretary of Division had no authority, even the Minister of Commerce had no authority, even he was uh, uh, decided uh, by the, this uh, for a group of people, then he had to be arrested. So. Um, I, at S21, had uh, find it difficult to explain how uh, we can reject uh, such a decision. So in the decision on the 9th of October 1975, when we talked about uh, the case of Mien. Mien here referred to Chan Chakrai and Suo Sopan. Pol Pot said that we did not have to believe the enemy's uh, testimony. We had to trust our lines and network. So they analyzed among their networks, to be clear. Uh, so they did not rely so much on the enemy's uh, testimony or confession. So I would like to conclude that S21 did not understand the reasons, the direct reasons uh, for any individual person uh, who were was decided by the force group to arrest. So they made the decision independently from us, and they just uh, made us implement their decision and smash. Co-prosecutor, le co-procureur. Thank you for answering the question, and we can accept your response. Let me continue the next question. It is related to the activities and the policies of the CPK regarding the babies or the young children who accompanied their mothers who were arrested by the party's decision. Is it the objective of the CPK policy that they committed certain acts or offenses? That's why they were brought along with their, with their mothers when the mothers were arrested? The accused, Mr. President. Mr. President. I would like to respond to the co-prosecutor question as follows. In order 
to understand this matter, we have to look at the situations as we were the implementers of their policies at Omlen at M13. At M13 office, initially we demanded to remove one teenager one teenage girl, her name was Sopna, and Francois Bizot uh, also talked about the girl in um, his book. Um, I tried very hard with Chai Kim Ho, uh, and Chai Kim Ho said, you had to be careful, you might be revenged. So I knew I could not convince him, so then I went to meet Brother Vaughan, and Brother Vaughan asked me to release. But the problem is, which unit? So I released her through. So because of that, of that matter, we had to keep her on our ground. And that's when Francois saw her. And later on, he was sent to the Omlian Cooperative with another woman, Kiu. So I took her there. So that was the first time. And the second time, I tried to raise young children of a person named Sam On. I was not sure whether he was a prisoner of war or from my recollection, I was not sure. There were three young children, but uh, they did not survive. At that time, my superior, Sun Sei, knew of the matter, and I told him that it's difficult to raise young children. It was not just only the food and the hygiene, but there has to be the uh, emotional factor, true. And then Sunshine said, so now he is your experience. There is no gain to keep them. And they might revenge, take revenge on you. You have to remember of the class stand. And that's when the time I defeated myself to the view of the CPK when it comes to the party's policy on being revenged. At S21, no such matter existed because I myself defeated and I myself abided to implement the party's policy at S21. So that's about the young children and the babies. I acknowledge and accept Full, responsi full responsibility for that crime. I did not, I will not blame them, but I was part of the people who were responsible for such crimes. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Kang Yew. My nice question to you. As you have uh, clarified previously, in the KW01 that you just raised, he was used for a while, including the construction of the statute near Wat Phnom, for example. There is one witness with the code name CP01-6. And the younger sibling, at that time they were young children. Why those people and these young children were not killed, as you said, at your office? Mr. President, said the accused. I would like to respond to the co-procutor's question as follows. I could not find the actual source of the CP1-6. I did not know the parents' names or when the person was arrived. This is uh, the truth. So the, the origin of the CP1-6 could not be verified by me. But for the date 25 slash 5 or 6, I could find the origin of that person.
This is my response to you. Voilà ma réponse. I could not find the origin of the CP1/6. I am not sure on this uh, on the background or the origin of this person. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Let me continue the question, and we can talk about this matter later on. When we give you the backgrounds on the arrest of the father of the CP1/6 to you at a later stage, when we when we will talk about the operations of the S21. My next question to you is that for the young children, when we talk about the young children, we talk about those who are seven years or younger. And for the baby, we talk about those who are still fed by the mother. So for those young children and the babies who were also sent to S21, were they killed at Chiang Ai or at another location nearby or within your S21 office? The accused, Mr. President, let me respond to the co-prosecutor's question. Permettez-moi de répondre à la question du co-procureur. I could not grasp the details on this matter. However, generally, I knew I am criminally responsible for the killing of young and older or teenage children and babies. I mean all the minors through the confrontation with the witnesses as previously done, par le biais de la confrontation avec les témoins, comme I think they were kept at a location near S21, and some of them were also sent to Jiang Ai location. The images of the baby being smashed against a tree, I could not, I did not know it. But from the photos, yes, I believed it happened. It was done by my subordinates. However, talking about throwing a, a baby from the uh, second floor, I did not believe it. Why did I not believe it? Because no one dare to kill someone freely and let the prisoners uh, saw it. So I did not believe in this particular case. In conclusion, they were killed, yes, at Chiang Ai location and also at the S21. And the images, the horrendous images of those children being smashed against the tree, yes, they were done by my subordinates. And I myself will not blame my subordinates, but I am criminally responsible because it is under my supervision. Et je suis criminellement responsable de ces actes, car ces actes ont été commis sous ma supervision. Thank you. Le co-procureur, je vous remercie. Now, my next question to you, it's also related to the children. Est également lié What is the reason for the children and the young children before they were smashed? They were not photographed. From my recollection, I asked you already, but let me clarify that. For the children, the, matur the majority of them were not photographed. Why there were no photographs? Photographs of those children. The accused, Mr. President, let me respond to this question as follows. I am truly responsible for all the crimes committed at S21, but for the detail implementation, I am far from that. I cannot tell you in details now. So talking about whether they were photographed or not, I saw some photos, yes, but probably majority of them were not photographed. So for the detailed operation was under the responsibility of my subordinates.
Il aurait le fait de la responsabilité de mes subordonnés. So my main goal is not to let or to release anyone. As Ho said, if we re uh, release someone, we will be killed. Car si nous libérions qui que ce soit, so whether the prisoners tués. were photographed or not were si not oui, my main concern. This is my response. Cela n'était pas de ma Co-prosecutor, thank you. Now my next question to you. In the name voilà of the réponse. chairman of S21, en tant que directeur de S21 and I already put these questions to the expert déjà posé cette question when expert. Dr. Craig Etchison, Lorsque Monsieur Craig Etchison testified about the arrest of the Khmer, sur les arrestations who were sent Khmer by the Thai authority through Pao uh, Point. Des, des so, in, as the chairman of S21, did you receive those Khmer people who were sent from Thailand through Comrade Thai Pan? And later on, they were sent to S21 by a vehicle. And I just want to remind you that amongst those 26 people, one died. So in your role as the chairman of S21, did you receive this group of people? The accused, Mr. President. Mr. Co-prosecutor. This is about the detailed operation, and I could not grasp it. Even if I grasp it, I, would, uh, I cannot record it. The most important is the list. If the list belongs to S21, then I will not object, because it would happen under my authority requested to me by the party. Do you know from when the people were sent? When was the list made? The co-prosecutor, Mr. President, can I hand a document to the accused so that he can uh, examine it? The President, yes, the Chamber allows it. Court official, take a document from the co-prosecutor and give it to the accused for his examination so that he can respond to the question. The co-prosecutor in the Khmer language, it has EAN 00091-47. The President, Judge Lavergne, the floor is yours. Judge Lavergne, I would like to respect the rule concerning the production of documents. I do not know what this document is about. Monsieur uh, le procureur which, uh, fait référence, uh, the prosecutor is referring je crois to, doit être and I believe that this document should be uh, read out uh, to uh, 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 here Donc, in court, or at least summarized before we uh, discuss it. So, Mr. Prosecutor, could you please give us some clarification regarding this document? Co-prosecutor, thank you, Your Honor. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Juge. The document which I received, which is a list of the prisoners with the year number, as I said, is in our case file, and this document is attached through a letter of Amnesty International, which the French. E and zero zero two seven one four nine nine. 
dont le numéro RN français est 00 24 0 0 0 0 0 0 Mr. President, co-prosecutor, can you oh, read out the EAN number again? Voulez-vous redonner Thank lecture you. des numéros RN? So uh, the EAN number for the English document, pour so that the interpreter can interpret it. Puissent s'en servir. And then those people who use the the different versions can uh, re re review those documents. Ainsi if there is an English uh, version of it, uh, if you do not have it, can you clarify it? Et si vous n'avez pas ce numéro R en anglais, veuillez euh, vous le procurer. The co thank le co you, Mr. President. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. The French language has the ER and 0027-1-5-0-1. And Five zero one. Unfortunately, I do not have the English version of this document. I only have the Khmer version with the number zero zero three two zero zero three six one nine. This document is the concern of the Ce document. Mr. President, Judge Lavange, the floor is yours. Judge Lavange, I apologize, but I am looking for this document that the ER numbers that you gave us, but I am unable to find the document in question. Does this document have a number? Is it in the introductory submission? Is it in the introductory submission? Is it annexed to any other document? Because there's really a problem. Problem here. I cannot find the document. Co-procureur, Mr. Co-prosecutor, according to what we have received at the co-prosecutor's office, this document is in the Zilab system. It, it is the D. Et c'est le document D84-2.5. Uh, I think uh, this document may be in case file 002, but the list of names concerning the lettre is related to the list of uh, the prisoners at S21, as I just mentioned. But uh, this document uh, uh, can be retrieved uh, from Zilab. Ce document est disponible sur Zilab. The president, uh, the defense counsel, you take the floor. La défense a la parole. Mr. Canizares, it seems to me that the document which the co-prosecutor is speaking about uh, is indeed included in case file number two. The President, uh, Judge Lavergne, Judge Lavergne, je vous en prie. Est-ce qu'à tout le moins la liste Lavergne. des prisonniers well, this à laquelle il est fait référence correspond à une liste de prisonniers dont on sait qu'ils ont été détenus à S21 uh, ou cette liste des prisonniers 
Était-ce simplement une liste de prisonniers annexée à la lettre en question, sans autre référence Est-ce qu'il y, est qu y a un lien entre la liste des prisonniers et S21 et est -ce lien est -ce Mr. Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Your Merci, Honor, Monsieur for seeking clarification. This list contains in document D57 Annex 2 with ERN 009047. If the chamber would like to obtain this copy, the co-prosecutor office peuvent faire parvenir un exemplaire du texte. can present it on our, from our screen Ou peut faire if you ce texte à allow si vous us to do so. The President, uh, we would like to give the floor to Judge uh, Cartwright. Thank you. Um, the Merci, President le has a copy of this document le in Khmer, but there appears to be no Khmer, copy in French or in English Khmer that is readily available. Um, the, the references simply don't um, give us access through Xilab, so, or at least not quickly. So Donc can the prosecutors help rapide. us, please, to give us a copy of the French uh, and or the English? en français et en anglais. Je, je souhaiterais tout d'abord avoir la certitude qu'il s'agit d'un dossier, d'un document qui vient du dossier numéro 1. Je ne suis pas sûr que ce soit un dossier qui vient du dossier numéro 1, dit le juge Lavergne. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Your Honours. Regarding this document that the Co-Prosecutor has obtained, uh, after we obtained this list, there has been there is a translation Nous of the documents uh, liste, that document are related to case file 002 because it links to the state presidium, Mr. Q. Sampon, 
And I think in the case file 001, as I remember, there has not been such attachment of uh, the letter sent uh, from the Amnesty International. But uh, it has been included in case file 001. But the letter has a connection with uh, the list that we would like to present, and the co prosecutor only would like to present uh, the document in French at a later date. We are now attempting to uh, ask the accused whether he can clarify something regarding this list, whether he has received those uh, accused in the list. And there has been some annotations, and uh, I can feel that uh, the annotations belong to the accused, so we Nous would like to seek clarification whether the accused is aware of that. Si the president, we the have president. observed that the questionings of the co prosecutor regarding this matter is not uh, very clear. Je que les so, par le sur ce document, regarding clair, what has been attempted uh, to raise, uh, the chamber would like uh, to hold on these, uh, these uh, questionings uh, regarding that ambivalent uh, matter a little bit, and uh, you may uh, have the opportunity to put this these questions again after the break, after you have well prepared uh, your documents uh, so that uh, uh, we, we have to be sure that uh, whether the, the document is related to case file 001 or 002 before we can proceed uh, further. So the co-prosecutor, you could please uh, proceed to another fact other than this ambivalent uh, matter, and you still can revisit the matter after Sachant the break. Que, uh, vous pourrez revenir à cette question aussi après la pause. Thank you, Mr. Co President, Merci, the co-prosecutor, co and thank you, Mr. Kang Eo. We hope uh, to review the questionings Nous again as advised uh, by the President of the Trial Chamber after the break. Le and the pause. National Co Prosecutor has no more questions Pour at the moment. And uh, I would like my colleague uh, to be able to put questions to the accused. And thank you, the accused, also for answering my questions. Pour les questions à the president, uh, le the president. chamber, would take 20 minutes Nous adjournment, une pause de 20 and minutes. we resume at 10 to 11. Nous 11 moins 10.